Well, hello there, friends. I'm making chicken wings. That's perfect for Super Bowl. It's perfect for any party. Even if you don't have any party, it's phenomenal. When did you see my recipe? Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. I'm showing you how to make my amazing chicken wings. Okay, friends, well, let me show you how I make my wings. Most of the people make it the, uh, uh, the buffalo wings with a hot sauce and a butter, and it's great. I like them. I decided I'm going to do it a little um, better. Matter of fact, most of my friends want me to make it that way when I make them because they're delicious, all right? Very simple, friends. Um, though, so this is a typical wing that you get, and, uh, and this is a very small one. Uh, this is a typical one you find at the grocery store, and it's got the flat right there and the flat right there and the drum right there and the tip and the tip we don't need it for nothing so what i do is i take the tip right there and i get rid of it because i don't need it okay so now we're going to cut the uh, the joint at the flat between the 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 um the the the, the trump the drum and the flat so beautiful drum and beautiful flat flat and the drum right there okay so this is a good way to eat it they're nice they're beautiful they're delicate and everything. This I save for stock. I don't need it. I save it for stocks. What I like to do, my friends, is the drumette. I like to do the drumette because the drumette, and I like to, when I have time, I clean the bone. Uh, you know, it, it looks really nice when it's finished and you can clean it. You can take it like that, but it takes forever to clean. So if you have time, if you got nothing else to do, you can certainly do it. Otherwise, here it is, okay? And, and so much more meat to eat in those. But you can do it with a wing, you can do it however you want. It really doesn't matter how we do it. Let me uh, uh, clean up my hand just a little bit. Actually, I was, I got this rag right here that I'm using. And um, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna clean the cutting board. And for those of you that are always wondering, I always have my sanitized water, friends. You know, white vinegar and a little bit of bleach and water, so I sanitize everything. It's very important, friends. All right? So now, what are we going to do? i got to dry my hands. And what we're going to do, we're going to do this, uh, this segment in, in three segments. First, we're going to put a, a dry rub on it, and then we're going to bake them in the oven. Right? About 45 minutes. And when they're done, when they're cooked, that is, we're going to take them out, and we're going to put a glaze on it. We're going to put a delicious glaze on it, and then we're going to make a dipping sauce, friends. Delicious dipping sauce. So, we're going to make the dry mix, okay? And the dry mix, in, I don't need this right now. The dry mix consists of uh, onion powder. This is really onion powder. It's not an onion salt. It's onion powder, grounded onion. Same thing with the garlic. It's not garlic salt. It's grounded garlic. I get it in... Uh, in, in Costco, believe it or not, they got this ground garlic that comes organic from California. It's amazing. So if you took garlic, dry it out and make a powder, that's what you got. Uh, cumin. Cumin, you know, I love cumin. You don't have to have it if you don't like it. Uh, paprika. Paprika is an Hungarian paprika. A little bit of cayenne. I want a little heat. You can have as much heat as you want. This is really a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, so it's very little. And I got a teaspoon of herb de Provence. And remember, in the recipe, friends, Below, remember between be, uh, uh, behind every one of our recipes, we have a link that says "Show More," and you can click on it. It'll give you a link directly to the free recipe on our website, and uh, you can check it out. Okay, so you put this uh, this rub right there, and what I'm going to do, friends, is um, I'm going to put a, a little bit of olive oil, and I'm using a garlic olive oil. You use a good olive oil; it doesn't matter what you use, friends. Just a little bit to rub them to make them a little sticky. I mean, they would, they would stick to it, but it's going to uh, allow them to get even a little bit better color. So I'm going to mess up my hands. I'm going to put them in here. Now, I made sure that the skin is, is over there because the skin is going to be nice and crispy. You see, friends? I'm going to put this in here like this. And then I'm going to bake them. Now, I bake them on a seal pad. I have a silicone mat. They're great. They don't stick. It's up to you. If you have one, great. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Remember, it's cooking. It's got to be fun. Put some music on, have a glass of wine. Enjoy yourself. 
Cooking is fun, friends. Now we're going to take our, um, uh, our dry mix and we're going to put it on there and we're going to mix it. We're going to mix them really, really good. And then we're going to put a little bit more uh, dry mix. Now then we mix them all, you see? Pretty simple, eh? Remember, I don't do anything complicated. If it's complicated, I'm not doing it. People say, why don't you make some complicated recipes? So what, then nobody do it? The idea of this channel, friends, is to do things a little different than some people do it. You know, bring in a little, uh, uh, little uh, uh, techniques and, and, and flavor different than what you've seen so far. Otherwise, there's a lot of great recipe out there for um, uh, buffalo chicken wings. There's a lot of them out there, and a lot of good ones out there, okay? But we want to do a little different, so that's why we're doing this. Now I'm going to put the skin back on. You see, friends, look. Take the skin, put it back on, because what happens is it comes out. And you don't want to put them, to, you want to make sure they don't touch. No touching. No, <laughs> no touching. Okay, make sure you put the skin really, rub it really good on there like that. You see, my friends? Right? And uh, see? Just like this. And then put them here. But no touching. Because they have to be able to, uh, otherwise they're going to get soggy. We don't want them to be soggy. You see? And uh, they're going to be delicious. <laughs> you see? You see? And that dipping sauce is a must. You must make that dipping sauce, friends. Rub them in, rub them in, rub them in. And by rubbing him the way I'm doing it right now, I'm making sure that my mixture is everywhere, you see? My mixture is everywhere. The flat, the drums, the drum, drumette. <laughs> there you go. Look, I'm teaching you English. Oh, something. <laughs> my friends, put this guy right there. I got my oven going at 375. We're gonna put them in there. I'm, 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 you know, it's gonna take about 45 minutes. Okay, so the oven is on. When I come back, we're gonna put the glaze on it, and then we're gonna make the uh, dipping sauce. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, friends, take about 45 minutes. You gotta take your time. We're gonna take them out of the oven, let them rest a little bit, then I'm gonna make the glaze, all right? So they're in there, and. Uh, they smell amazing, friends. They smell amazing, okay? They don't look great yet, okay? So don't worry, they don't look great. We're gonna make them look great, okay? It's all in the look, but they smell amazing. You know, the, the number one smell, the number one fragrance is the cumin. Huh. Okay, man, is special, I love cumin. A little bit of cumin, okay? Not a lot of cumin. If it's too much cumin, you can't test anything else. You have to have it in the background and say, you know, is that cumin in here? Mm. Okay, all right, so now, we're gonna make a, 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 a glaze to put on it, and then we're gonna brawl them for a few minutes, just brawl them, all right? So, in the, in the glaze, I'm gonna put a little bit of a, a dark a sesame oil, just a little bit, just a little bit of dark. Now, I'm not really measuring it. You know, I'll give you some measurement for those of you that really like to measure, but please don't like to measure. <laughs> Please don't measure. You don't need to measure all the time. You know, I don't think I've ever made it twice the same. Uh, a little bit of hot sauce. I'm using sriracha because everybody uses it. No, because a lot of people use sriracha. And, uh, and I like to use stuff that you guys like to use. I'm, I'm going to use two, two sweetener. I'm going to use a maple syrup. And I'm going to use my famous acacia honey. Um, use whatever makes you happy, friends, okay? It's really up to you. Uh, you, if you only have one, then use one. If you have two, if you're like, I like the flavor of both, so I can't, couldn't decide which one I'm going to use, which one I'm not going to use. So I'm going to put the maple syrup in there. All right? Then we're going to put some uh, oyster sauce. The oyster sauce is going to give us a great deal of uh, texture, a great deal of flavor, and it's really, really, really important to add the oyster sauce. Okay? So if you don't have it, get it out. All right, it's really important, friends. The oyster sauce is going to do a lot. And then we're going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Okay? And um, this is important as well. Well, I wouldn't put it in there if it was not important, would I? A little bit of salt right there. And a little bit of the black pepper. Very little black pepper, actually. And then we're going to mix all this up right there. And we're going to test it. I have a little bit of, uh, of, uh, of uh, lemon 
because I like to always incorporate sweet, friends, okay? Always like to incorporate sweet. Whenever you have, I mean, long time I wonder about me. I like to incorporate acid so it's not too sweet, huh? Delicious. But it really needs it. You know, you could use a little more maple syrup. Test it. You know, just make sure when you test it, it tastes good to you. Could use a little more heat too, a little more heat. Test it, you see? Test it, look all the ingredient. Look at all the ingredient and say to yourself, can I test this one? Can I test this one? And if you can't, then add a little bit more because you have to be able to test it. And the best way to do it is to look at them. And then when you test, you see? When you test, you go. You look at all the ingredients. And there's one of them you can't test, and you want to put it because you're supposed to test them all. Just a little bit, right? Mmm, delicious. So a little bit of lemon juice, just a little bit. That helps bring everything up, Prince. Just a little bit, okay? Don't put a lot. All right, we're good. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take them. Let me see the best way to do it because there's so much of it. We're going to take them, and we're going to brush them just like this. All right, friends? Just like this. I'm going to do it all. And then, ha ha, they're getting, they're hot. I just took them out of the oven. What do I want? Maybe we should wait a little bit. And <laughs> now I tell you that, right? Now we should wait just a little bit, friends. All right, we're going to put them on there. See, they're going to be amazing. Wow, they're hot. So I'm going to wait for a second because <laughs> they're hot. I'm going to wait for a second. I'm going to rub them on all there. And then I'm going to put them on the, uh, I'm going to put them on the end of the brawler. I'm going to put a little bit of sesame seed. So let me do all this. I'll come back in a second. All right, friends. Now that I got them all down, I'm going to put a little more on it. A little more of this beautiful glaze, friends. Take your time now. I said take your time and I'm hurrying up. <laughs> oh, sometime, I tell you. This is a lot of fun. I love this. It smells amazing. I could drink that stuff. <laughs> I'm kind of weird, though. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Imagine if people knew that the channel, they would say, okay, we knew he was a little crazy, but he's really crazy now. What do you think? What do you think? I think they look good. All right. All right. Now, what we're going to do, friends, we're going to brawl them a little bit, okay? And when they come out, we're going to put the, um, well, first of all, I'm going to clean up all this. And then when we come back, I am going to, um, uh, to put the toast sesame oil on it just for a second when they're in a bowl. Because if I put it now, I'm afraid they're going to burn, okay? So I'm going to wait a few seconds to put it at the last minute, okay? So uh, when I come back, all this will be clean and we'll make the, we'll make the, uh, uh, the dipping sauce. Okay, friends, the end of the brother. So we don't want to leave him there too long, but you'll see, they smell amazing, smell amazing. They smell really, really, really wonderful. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put my sesame seed on them. You see, you can put the toast sesame seed if you want. I put the white sesame seed in it. Make it look kind of cool, right? Make them look cool and I like a little uh, the crunch of it. All right, it's up to you, friends. What you do, it's always up to you, isn't it? All right, they look beautiful. I'm telling you, friends, they look amazing. All right, so I make a sauce. Okay, to make a sauce, I'm going to put a little sour cream. And you notice I'm not going to measure. I don't want you. I want you to learn not to measure anymore. Little sour cream. Uh, they, that's going to give us a creamy. That's a little mayonnaise. It's going to give us some nice structure. 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 You got it. Uh, a little yogurt. And uh, I, I use a, a, not too much yogurt because it's gonna make it might make it may make it too liquid. A little Dijon mustard, Dijon mustard. Yeah, I love Dijon mustard. Use whatever you want. Um, Shiraz. Oh no, Arisa. Now this, my friends, this, my friend, is uh, is a hot sauce. And if if you don't have it, put your hot sauce in there. I don't want to put too much on it. It's a minute. It's a Phenomenal sauce. If you've never tried it before, I wish I use it in a lot of dishes. You can find it in many, many grocery stores. I put just a little bit because I don't want my dipping sauce to be too hot. It's really up to you, okay? 
a little bit of chopped garlic, and I, and I minced my garlic really, really fine. And, you know, we made a video two years ago, three years ago, about how to make my garlic puree. I use it all the time. It's a fabulous way. If you've never had it, you should try, try it out. Now, this, I know it's going to be, uh, some people are not going to like it, but it's okay. You don't have to do it. I'm going to add a little bit of blue cheese. You know, I don't like blue cheese. That's okay. You don't have to add blue cheese. This is just an extra. The sauce is going to be delicious without it, friends. I promise you, okay? A little salt and pepper. So you add the blue cheese. If you like the blue cheese, you don't like the blue cheese, then don't, don't add it. I love blue cheese. So uh, this is a Roquefort, okay? And uh, you can add more if you want. You can add less if you want. You can skip it all together. And don't worry about it. Let me move all those ingredients out of the way so Jack doesn't have to deal with us. <laughs> He's celebrating already. So you see, look, guys. It's got a little p uh, pinkish color of it because of the uh, Arisa. I'm going to put just a little bit of chopped parsley in there. And again, it's going to give us a... Oh, mamma mia, look at me. I'm such a clumsy, clumsy. Sometimes I wonder about myself. <laughs> I am so clumsy. You know, you know this, you look, look at this clumsy I am. Mamma mia. <laughs> uh, even if I'm at home, I'm still clumsy. I'm clumsy all the time. <laughs> It doesn't get any better, okay? When you're clumsy, you're gonna remain clumsy the rest of your life, friends. Let me test it to make sure it's good. Ooh. Oh. Even if you don't like blue cheese, just buy good blue cheese. Now, don't be buying the, some of those blue cheese they put in some of the grocery stores that are absolutely terrible. Friends, they're really, really hot. I'm going to wait for a second before I can eat one and dip it in the sauce. I'll be back in a second. Okay? I don't want to burn my second because they are really, really hot. Right? They were babbling when I took them out of the oven. I'm going to wait a second. Okay, friends. Look at the beautiful platter. Oh, it's beautiful. You know, I never understood what is the celery and the carrots until one day I went to a party. I had enough of those. And, uh, and it went not so good. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> and I got to eat something. So I ate the carrots and the celery. And they were delicious because the dipping sauce was good. Anyway, friends, I saved myself a little drum. I'm going to put in the sauce because I, I don't want to make a... It's going to be terrible if I eat that right now on the, on the camera. So, mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 <laughs> friends. Mmm. They're delicious. Again, for those of you that have never tried blue cheese, I'm highly recommending you try, friends. But remember, you got to buy good blue cheese. Or you can buy a, a, a Roquefort, a French blue cheese. If you, if you can find Maytag blue cheese, it's amazing. Um, or, or a Gorgonzola. Or, uh, I mean, there's a lot of, but good, it's got to be good. If it's no good, don't put it in there. It'll, be, it'll ruin the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget, thumbs up. And subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell, friends. We found out the other day that only 10% of you rings the bell. Ring the bell. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.